TALKER IS A FREE MAN TONIGHT. ERIC KAPLAN PLEADED GUILTY TO FELONY AGGRAVATED ASSAULT WITH A DEADLY WEAPON AND HE WILL NOT DO ANY PRISON TIME. PROSECUTORS AND THE VICTIM ARE OKAY WITH THAT. NEW AT 6, CYNTHIA NEWSOM SAT IN THE JOHNSON COUNTY COURTROOM AND CYNTHIA, BOTH SIDES ARE CALLING THIS A WIN-WIN IT SOUNDS LIKE. Yeah, they are indeed. Of course, defense attorneys are pleased because their client, uh, Kaplan, will not serve any prison time. And prosecutors are pleased because with today's guilty plea, uh, Kaplan is now convicted of a felony. Let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what happened in this Johnson County courtroom here this afternoon. The victim testified. She told the judge that she wants Kaplan to get help. In May of 2013, Kaplan followed her in his car. She called police. They stopped and arrested Kaplan. They found duct tape, chloroform, and rope in his trunk. Uh, Kaplan told the judge here today that he is sorry. He apologized to the victim and said that he would never do it again. Stalking is only a misdemeanor in Kansas, but Kaplan pleaded guilty to aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, a felony, and he'll serve two years probation. I think a big part of it was his criminal history or lack thereof. Uh, the fact that he's taking responsibility for what he's done and uh, the, the crime is in of itself. We were forced to speculate what he was going to do that day, which is why this was such a difficult case to begin with. Now, after today's court hearing, the victim told me that she is glad that she came here to court today to face Kaplan. She said that she does hope that he changes his life and gets on a better path.